Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Vintage Gaudi. In this video I'll take you with me on my two flea market trips here in Switzerland. The first flea market I visited was on the 10th of July this year, next to the Lake of Zurich. It was a small flea market, but had a very good stuff there. Um, I was very happy to find something cool. So you can see here in this video, there are a lot of different stuffs. Here, these are some milk, some cream, coffee, ah, yes, coffee cream lid. Um, there is really a market to collect this coffee lid or the coffee cream lid but um, I have no idea how valuable these are and so I only wanted to film that but I know there is a collecting market for these things. This table was very cool, full of children's toys, full of everything. <laughs> so I found there these super cute diddle blocks or notice blocks. Um, I had to buy some of them, <laughs> but I'm not really a diddle collector. So I know there are or there is also a diddle collecting market and the first diddle books or um, notice blocks, they are so expensive but um, these ones these are the newer ones i think uh, maybe 10 years old or something like that um so i do does not collect them but i love the design of these little books next we've got here a box full of everything <laughs> so um i grabbed in this box but i haven't found something really cool that i must have there were uh, some um how does it called the are uh, the furbies yes furbies and these um mickey mouse things but um, nothing that i really had to have Here we have other Globy books. I love Globy books. I do collect them and um, I was very happy to find some of these Globy books. But unfortunately, the most of them I have already in my collection. So I bought the first one that you can see here, the Globy at the zoo. So very cool. Next was this Pokemon helmet, this children's helmet. I don't know how old this is or was because it looks very old but i don't think this is really safe anymore <laughs> um but um well yes it looks very cool this helmet and here i found these mc cassettes i do also collect some mc cassettes and i love the stories to listen to them this is so nostalgic for me and i found here this pingu mc cassette and grabbed for other cassette because I saw there are other um, uh, stories in this box and then the seller came to me and lifted up this CD box so I can grab the other cassettes under the CDs look now he takes away the CDs and there are a lot of other MC cassettes so very very cool I just got home from the flea market and I'd like to show you what pieces I found there. First thing I bought was this college jacket, college style jacket, <laughs> because I love this style and um, it fits perfectly to me and it even has the price tag on it. So I paid 10 Swiss francs for this jacket slash pullover slash hoodie. Um, yes, and um, well, times here in switzerland is um, very rainy and um, cold and so i can definitely use this 
college jacket also for the summer times when it's cold outside. The next thing I bought is this beaver, <laughs> this um, stuffed animal, this plush animal. <laughs> it looks very sweet with the teeth of the beaver. Um, I only bought this because the beaver is the um, spirit animal from my boyfriend. So this is a gift for him. Another stuffed animal and plush I bought here is this seal. I do not primarily collect seal stuffed animals, but um, at the flea markets when I find some, then I have to take them with me because I love seals and the seal is my spirit animal and um, look at this eyes, it's so sweet and cute. The next piece I bought is this Globby store book. This um, book is <laughs> well from 2000, maybe 2000 and 2002. So it's not a really old Globby book, but it's the first. Um, Erste Auflage means the first um, series, the first series from 2002. So Globby. For those who don't know who Globby is, Globby is a typical Swiss figurine. Um, he was created in nearly 1930. Every year there is a new book, a new story from Globby. In this year, 2020 or 21, there was the book Globby and Roger from Roger Federer. Um, and yes, I'm collecting these books. Globby is a figure that solves problems. In every story, there is a problem and he is fixing these problems with some special ideas that mainly in the real life probably doesn't work <laughs> so good. But um, some of these ideas are very clever and very smart. And um, I know the Globby is also international, so there are Globby stories in, in English, in other um, languages. But I don't know if Globby is very common in the English speaking lands probably in England or America so I don't know if you know Globby go google it it's very very cool the stories are so so sweet and as you can see here Globby solving a problem there are some mosquitoes flying around his his um, meal and then he goes and buys a gecko and the gecko is eating the flies and he can eat his meal so clever smart solution for a problem well in real life I think it doesn't work, but then I have never tried this. So these are some, uh, this is a part of one of these books. So, and next to it, there is also um, the story written, but it's written in rhyme. So every ending is rhyming to the other ending. So all of this book, I think there are, how many pages are there? 97. 97 pages full of rhymes, histories and sketches from Globy. And so the next thing I bought is this, or there are these three MC cassettes here. <laughs> so this two is from Pingu. I don't know if you know Pingu or if Pingu is also in other countries. I think it should be so. Um, the character, the Pingu, living in the South or North Pole. This is friends, and I love at the time listening to MC cassettes. So I'm very, very glad that I found this too because I love listen also to Pingu. And as you can see, the seal, <laughs> my spirit animal. I love it the most because he is very smart. And Globine, <laughs> Globine is a kind of sister from Globi, or another character but similar as Globi. She's a female version from Globi, and she also does some adventures. And this is a um, Globine in the Südsee. Um, here she is in the ocean, swimming, diving through the ocean. <laughs> so I'm very excited to listen to that stories. And as I told you, I love MC cassettes. I love listening to them and I've got a huge amount of MC cassettes in my um, storage box. <laughs> so there are now three more from them. And now the last pieces I found at this flea market are these diddle pieces here. 
So this is a diddle box, so cute. And in here there are some paper pieces, some notice paper. You can write down your notice, put it on something. But <laughs> and um, I like the box. I am not in collecting diddle, so I don't know the value of them. But I had as a child some diddle papers. I had also the paper that smells. There was a series from smelling paper so you can um, how do you say the scratch on the paper and then it smelled so it was perfumed kind of this um, and uh, this box I found so cute and you can use it and when the paper is empty you can use it for storing some jewelry or anything you like and there were are um, four pieces of this paper Blocks, writing paper <laughs> um, and this is also very cute I think this should match together because of the um, hairband from the diddle mouse so these are the same characters <laughs> these two belongs together then I've got it a green one oh they are so in love with each other Oh, throughout <laughs> every paper they are in love also here this oh she becomes a present from him I don't know if they have names um, we usually call them diddle and diddle mouse so <laughs> well um, I don't know you can write down in the comment section below if they have names because I'm still wondering if they have names or not and also here there are some pa some pieces left to write down and we've got here this little uh, this diddle book um, it says Leuchtblock so Leucht means um, light up so this is a lighting up block but I don't know how this should work maybe here comes the light and then you do um, switch off the light and then it should should um, light up or something like that so I don't know if it works still um, this is called the Sonder edition so it's a special edition but I can't see a year Diddle is originally coming from Germany so this costs back then 2 euro 50 and I paid for all these pieces here together there are five pieces I paid 10 Swiss francs well in Switzerland there is everything a little bit high priced but um, I would say that it's okay so I paid two Swiss francs for every single piece here and there are a lot of paper to write some letters or simply storing them but I'm not actually collecting real diddle I bought this because um, they reminds me of them which I had as a child, this pink one and the well, orange pink kind of color so these are all the stuffs that I bought today in this flea market I welcome you to the second flea market I was on the 11th of July this year this is a big flea market so it's also called um, reason flow market it was mean some kind of giant flea market and it's really big well big for Swiss flea markets <laughs> um, I love to go to this flea market this is once every month and has a lot of good stuff look at this 
horse is riding horse it's so vintage well i think this would be probably some vintage horse it was so cool um and here of course a typical swiss bell there you can buy these bells everywhere on the flea market so these are very cool but i don't have my other i don't I have to collect them yet. I found also this box from Bernina sewing machines. I do also have privately a sewing machine from Bernina. I love them. But, um, well, of course, I do not need this box. So <laughs> I left it there on the table. Here we've got a lot, a, a lot other things. This, I don't know if this is Babushka or Petrushka. Um, maybe you can say what's the right name of it. <laughs> well, a lot of other stuffs. And here, oh yes, this was very, very cool. These are some bicycle re uh, bells for, yes, some bicycle bells. Um, all very old, I think, and um, some cool designs. But, well, I do not ride a bicycle at this time and I do not need some kind of this, but I found this very, very cool. Um, a special idea to selling these um, bicycle belts at the flea market. Next was um, also some kind of watch sold i love the design of this watch it looks a bit vintage but the glass of the watch was damaged and the seller told me oh you have only to put a new battery in but i don't know if that works so i left over this cool watch <laughs> in here there was also a lot of stuff some yeah, I don't know if this is marble-like or um, ceramic, um, but, well, nothing that I really must have. <laughs> some old vintage tools, some old books, so everything you can use. Here are some uh, paintings, but nothing that I should have. <laughs> Um, next to this one are um, a lot of books, different theme books, a lot of children's books. I like to grab in these children's books because there are mostly or often some books that I must have, <laughs> like the Globy books or other vintage books. Um, but in this case, there was nothing that I had to have, so it was fun to grab in this books box. Oh yes, this was a very fun seller. He had this box which everything in there was only one Swiss franc, but nothing very, yes, old or something. There was um, a lot of pets, but they are also newer generations of pets. Um, some tennis balls, I don't know why, but there were some tennis balls, some uh, other things, but nothing that I really had to have, but cool to grab in this box. Very, very cool. Um, some smileys here. <laughs> this unicorn here in the front. Super cool. Um, he had also these power banks. It looks very, very funny, but okay. I have a lot of power banks. I don't need them anymore. <laughs> and this seller is um, one of my favorite. He has a lot of vintage books. These are the Papa Moll books, also very known in Switzerland. And in the background you had seen the Globy books, so I definitely bought them some Globy books. Here we've got these metal shields, a lot of postcards. Um, well, at this seller you can find a lot of things. Um, he has especially very much of these Schleich toys or figurines. In this case, a lot of sw swarf. I think this is the right word for it. Um, well, I grabbed in this box, but I really don't, I really don't um, collect these figurines. But it's very funny because I have no idea that Schleich was or is producing so much of this stuff, of these figurines. So it was very fun to look at this box and grab around. Um, as you can see, a lot of these Schleich boxes. Here are some dragons, some horses. Very, very cool, but nothing that I really had to. Be 
but these um, horses I found very interesting um, well but I left them <laughs> there in the box it was also only fun to grab in this box and look what surprising figurines are inside This was a very typical um, seller here for Switzerland and typical I mean because of that. Here is a plate full of um, knives, Swiss knives from Victorinox. You can buy them here in Switzerland at flea market or every store nearly. And it's so that the children here in Switzerland, most of the children are growing up with these knives. So when I was around six years old, I received my first knife. And there are different sizes. For Of course, for the children, they are smaller knives and they are getting bigger and bigger throughout the years, the knives, as this one in the video or there are much um, bigger tools and knives. So this is typical in Switzerland, the children have their own knives. Oh, this was also a very, very cool um, place here at the flea market. He had almost everything, but in a very cool style. <laughs> so there were some vintage wooden pieces, some metal toys and some statues and some kind of glass art and very very cool and this one here this with the dolphins is a glass ball i liked it but well where should i put them and this was um a bit yeah not so cool because um i first saw it would be some poly pocket but it wasn't poly pocket there was some kind of else things there on this blanket and she had some super cute figurines made of metal so here this bunny or mouse no it's bunny they look so cute but again where should i go with them but it's very cool to see these figurines and this handmade art a lot of stuffed animals some plates some clothes yes there are a lot of clothes selling there well, I'm back from the second flea market and I'd like to show you what things I found there. First of all, my loved MC cassette. <laughs> I found here the Winnie Pooh um, first edition of um, this Winnie Pooh MC cassette. Then I found um, some fairy tale cassette with Trudy Gerster. She was in uh, maybe 60s, 1970s, um, the woman who told these fairy tales on these MC cassettes and uh, sh I love to listen to her even though I wasn't born back then when she did this job, but um, she had so quiet um, voice and I like or I love to listen to her fairy tales and stories. Then the next one, or better two, these are together. This is the story from Shellen Ursli. <laughs> um, he is also one of the characters what Switzerland is known for. Maybe you know him or the story of him. And on this side we've got here Florina. She's also a character, main character from this um, Shellen Ursli stories. Um, which were made from Selina Jones and Alois Carigier. Um, so these two belongs together and I like to listen to them later. And the last MC cassette I bought was this Papa Moll Hilf dem Tier. So the translation is Papa Moll helps the veterinary. Papa Moll is also a very famous character here in Switzerland. Um, I do know that they were also the books and the stories are translated also in English, but I don't know if they are also common in or they're known in America or in England. Um, he has also some cool stories and I like, like to listen to them as well. So these are my 
five MC cassettes that I found at the flea market. I haven't filmed it how I found them because um, I had to hurry up. There was once again rain storm coming and of course I found there some globby books and I really love globby books I'm collecting them and I'm so happy that I found some in the first edition and also some really old ones first is this globby book very very beautiful cover and you can see it's yeah really old and this one is from so can you see it this is the first edition from 1947 so this book came out only two years after after finish of the world war ii and the condition of this book is for that age really good only a few pictures or scenes are um, with color but the rest is in very good condition for this age and the reason why I bought, buy also these old globy books is this was in 1947 so 20 years in 20 years or 26 years from now this book is 100 years old so then I will own a book that is 100 years old and this is very 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 cool the next one is this Globi book, um, Globi Tribe Sport, the translation is Globi is doing sports um, or exercises and this is also a very cool book and this one is also very old. You can see the first edition in 1948, so this is also one year later, this came out one year after this book. So that is, that is very very cool and also the condition of this is so good, no painting pictures at all and uh, the cover is also in so good condition. Well okay I paid I think 25 or 30 Swiss francs and for this 20 Swiss francs but hey in 25, 27 years these books are 100 years old. And I think you can see this because they're really vintage, they're old um, and they are not in perfect shape but it's okay because that makes it for me um, very authentic and nostalgic. This is a newer one, this is the Globi für alle Fälle, also the translation is Globi for every cases, Globi helps the people with their problems. And this is a newer one from 2003. First edition also 2003 and no paints at all. So in very very good condition. And next book is this one, also a pretty old one but not as old as the other two. This one is from 1964 for, sorry for that 1964 also first edition very cool next one is this one it's a little bit damaged but okay this is also an old one this is from 19, 19 57 is this right 1957 first edition also and for the rest of it in pretty cool and super condition so very 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 cool and the last one is this one also seems to be very old some dirt here but well it's okay you have to live with that a brand new Globy book it's rarely to find and then it's very 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 expensive and this book is from 1962 also first edition and also without any painting on it or any color so this is very very cool so these are all the things that I found there a lot of Globy books and a lot of MC cassettes I hope you enjoyed this video, 
give me a big thumbs up, click the subscribe button and we will see us in the next video with Vintage Gaudi. Bye!